Hello Virgo, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to be using the deck of the Qatars. This is the Dutch translation, the Qataren. The Qatars, look it up with a C or an, and an S at the end, or maybe a K also. It's definitely an interesting story about the first religion in the medieval time who believed they lived in the matrix. They just called it the shadow world. And that's all about what I'm going to say about it. Look it up for yourself. It's definitely an interesting story. And let's get whoa, let's get into your reading. Let's shuffle a bit more. I'm going to pull five cards. One concerning the problem there might be. And four cards. Two concerning positive and two concerning negative aspects. Who might be pointing what the problem might be solved or anything else. So got measured twice cut once this is the problem two negative aspects and two positive aspects so let's look at the problem we have the hangman or the endura in this case in the straight in the upside and the endura is about oh, is about seeing it from a different point of view. It's also about embracing every aspect of life as it occurs. So um, it's pointing to change, rebirth, transition, new insights and intuition, prophecy, acceptation and sacrifice. A reversal is also happening within your confinement or I don't know let's see what the negative aspects about the change that's going to your life um, Virgo we have the seven of shields in the upright and the lovers or the love fest in, in this deck so let's see what the seven of shields is in the upright it's definitely a good card Oh, seven of shields is the seven of wands and it points to a card about successful outcome after a long battle you have the tower or the mountain or, or the hill you have behind you and you are a master about all you see from upon that hill or this uh, tower meetings and discussions negotiations are important parts of the route you have taken until now and also the right the route who is in the future so the pendant is very is has came very high and you have to make up the balance your ambition is to judge and to begin everything that is needed to accomplish your goals and to put them to work if this card is upside down which it isn't but it is also but it is in the negative aspect of the reading it might point to concern embarrassment decisiveness decisiveness or not being able to decide and a lack of self confidence and we also have the lovers card within the negative aspect of this reading and the lovers card is uh, about love uh, flourishes if equalness and balance and honesty are there so this card is about commitment love uh, agreement passion impulsivity uh, also about turning points within your life harmony problems who came from above optimism trust and choice um, separation, divorce, uh, an, an unsettled life, uh, re disharmony, uncertainty and foolish plans within the negative aspect of this card. It's upside down but it's in the negative aspect so it might point to those factors within this card. So if I think about you having something to endure at the moment and take a, a different point of view on love maybe 
and uh, let's see what the positive aspects are we have the five of love which is the five of cups and the nine of love in the reverse on the positive aspects of this reading so let's get to the nine of love maybe the nine of love in the upside down points to a mistake imperfection guilt honesty loyalty open-heartedness freedom and abundance so we have a loving full outcome and a renewing energy a gift to solve problems on on the gift to solve problems even though it is weakened by the idea that we win when the goal at at its core is uh, bringing us out of balance so material success can be offered to you but you notice that it isolates you the Qatarian exercise of the letting go of possessions is here really at order so you realize possessions doesn't really make you happy so you must look to the light aspect about this card which is it's in the positive aspect so upside down or not it might point to victory success advancing advancement or advantage um resolved problems triumph and making happiness and pleasure and the five of love is pointing to a rather um apathetic a pathetic uh, meaning there might be a deeper meaning though to the depressingness that this card points to it's also pointing to uh, a, a return in your life or a, a, a new way going a new way if the um, so family and even enlightenment might break through the dark clouds and make you see the truth within yourself this card asks to heal old wounds and maybe that that may be separated you from your family so within the light of this card is sadness and and suffering loss not being able to point to your own destiny regrets maybe an inheritance or deceit and it is in the positive aspects of uh, the reading so it might point to hope um commitment family reunion your ancestors and uh, enlightenment so you are on a pivotal time uh, virgo you just had a very rough uh, full moon in in um in pisces i guess and you had to go to some stuff and try to see things from a different view and realize you're at the point in your life where things will have to take a reverse or maybe a new way going so i guess this helped a bit virgo and hopefully see you next time thanks for watching